Yeah. Yeah. All right. So basically, it's so Shogu, is it? Shogu. Shogu. Uh, Shogu. 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 It's kind of like um, when you look at the Japanese story, it's kind of the progression from um, samurai to shogun. Uh, you know, it's the steps between. That's what it means. So, um, so we've got this one. And, oh, God, I have to go and click. What scale is this? One, one six? So, uh, no, no, this is court scale. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, court scale. Let me get rid of Liam first. Sorry. Get rid of Liam. Fuck off, Liam. And uh, come back <laughs> over here, click on that, and then I should be able to switch. There we go. So oh, again, yeah. this is a uh, picture there. This is just the uh, prototype of that. So, yeah, great. I love the, the weathering on the bat symbol signal. Um, Sang just posted some pictures of the actual look of the light. So you can actually have it Like it red, actually. Warm. Like it with a fire behind it. It looks a bit more realistic. I, I actually think it looks more um, – it fits more with the warm light. Yeah, I think so too. The way it would be a fire in that kind of time, but yeah. I love I love the way it pops in white as well. So I think I think it's right. great. I, that love, I, love I think the great that they've given the option of doing the two. I think that's a really really smart move. Um, I've got to say, that how does that great. work then? You you can order one or the other, two separate pieces. No, 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 no. 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 The way the lights work is they, they you can switch between warm and um, nice. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. So, God, I keep sorry. Clicked on something else. Click, click, click. Stay on focus, motherfucker. We've got lots uh, to get and, through. And you got the Joker and Raichi again. We've seen this piece already, so not going to spend too much time on that. But looks phenomenal. Again, these are pictures not. I like this piece. Cool. These are pictures taken by a collector. I think it was Art. I can't remember. I don't, I don't, I don't it's like, like this one. I'm a big fan of Samurai Line, but just not this. Not this one. No. No, I just don't yeah. think it captures the Joker. Really, I don't think it screams Joker to me. I think that there's elements of it it's just too lost. I think it's tough sometimes, and I think a lot of people say certain, that. About, certain, a, lot people say that a lot of people say that about Nightwing, though. Yeah, but the chat shakes. Nightwing's awesome. Well, yeah. So, yeah, that's that. So, this is just a, uh, a view of kind of all the pieces together. And uh, then you've got the Captain America. So, this is the uh, version uh, kind of B kind of look with the hammer and stuff. Um, I really so, like the shield thing and I like the hammer out of the way. Hmm. The the sort of like when, yeah, like that. So, I like yeah, that. The, that's, that's my favourite. There is the option to, to, to do that, you know. So, yeah, you've got, you've got several options. I don't yeah. think they do the best way with the options they've chosen. Um, again, I, I agree with you that if you've got something in one hand, you keep the other hand empty. I don't exactly. think you kind of keep... It's a bit too busy otherwise. It's it's overkill, content. isn't it? It's, it's yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. And also, win. there's something about... Because we all, yeah, but we also, we also know that the when you throw something, you use your alternative hand mm. as your sort of guide. Do you understand? Yeah, so yeah. that's what you do. You put your hand sort of out, and it becomes almost counterbalanced to throw with the other hand. Do you understand? We do it in boxing. It's the same. You put your... You, some, what you do... You put your, your jab hand out and you put it out and you leave it there, right, for a heart like a millisecond and you plant your right hand where that left hand is. It's almost like a, a, a gauge. You use it as a target and then smash into it with your right hand. Just drop it at the same time. Lennox Lewis was a master of that skill. Yeah. When you throw things, it's the same. You sort of put your hand out and then you – you know, that's why when yeah. you watch a javelin, they, they do that. Are you seeing them when yeah. they run with a javelin? They yeah. aiming. That's what that is. It's not for fucking fun. They're aiming with that hand and it sort of trajectory. It's all about that thing. So I think that with the, the other hand being clear, it looks more like he's about to throw that shield. As soon as you it's put like, that hammer yeah. in there, it, it just looks yeah. like fucking, it looks like, you know, again, I too many I, I mean, I think, it's, I think it's nice to have the options of the switch outs. But I, again, I think that the decision for these pictures, were, it, it wasn't done by XM, it was done by one of our distributors. Um, I think again. I mean, it's preference. It's always preference. Um, How much has been done to death as well? Yeah. A little bit in it. It's, it's been well, done to death now. But the problem every is, every fucker with a cap is like, yeah, let's give him, let's give him the yeah. hammer. I'm, I'm sorry, let me go for these. Happy Hanukkah. Uh, is the extra uh, one one quarter scale? Um, three two in the NGO. So you're in the back foot at the end. Uh, okay. 
Okay. Still win on that code. My friend, but yeah, I was equally surprised I didn't get an excuse me. Optimus Prime did not have the Matrix of Leadership in Episode 3, too. Yeah, I definitely thought that. Or I thought you were going to get stuff about your Matrix of Leadership being too small and out of scale because you used a different one on there. But yeah, Batman Sugar without a doubt is the best piece, pretty uh, naff line. Ooh. <laughs> uh, I, really like, I really like the song, I like because personally. I'm a big yeah. fan of it myself. <sighs> What would you say in a second ago? I think, I think, I think in terms of... I was going to reply to. Um, Me? I did say. So. You did? Fuck's sake. No, they, the, the question was, is the Gladiator Hulk one cool? No, no. It? Uh, it's, it's cool. But you said something else. Um, oh, yeah. The, the, but actually, the point about, you know, when 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 uh, it's a company as well, you have to think about the fact that when, it, when there are one, two, three things done of a certain statue, it's not by that company. So there might be certain people who collect just your brand and you want to represent your, have your take on it, you know. So there is that side of it as well. You know, they're not all collectors as well. They're going, yeah. Anyway, so this is the Captain America. There you go. You've got the Mueller uh, thing on there. Actually, there's, like the, there's the Pure Arts piece in the back. I didn't realize that was there. Yeah, it's fucking awesome. That looks. Yeah. So I don't like that hammer in the hand. It's like, I just, mm. something about it is really like, is bad balance. I just don't like it. I would don't prefer. Like it it. I would actually prefer the hammer to be in the other hand of the shield. So control. agree. So agree. I, I think. The, 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 yeah. I think you, what it should have been. You know that left hand, that right hand down. I think it should yeah. be a fist, and then the hammer in the other hand. Yeah, yeah maybe like it, like, like like up. Okay. Yeah, like with it there, like up. Yeah. Right, and then you sure. change it, and you have the shield like that, exactly like that, and then you have the right hand open. Like down and open, laser man, mm. fucking fling the shield. That that would have been my choice. I don't. I know, I'm, I'm saying if he was going to have the hammer, yeah, would be the uh, what's what is that? So that's his left, no, left hand. Yeah, it's left hand. Yeah, left hand left. with the hammer. I would have thought. Yeah, you basically do the hammer in the left, the shield in the left, and then you have the open and closed right hand. Yeah. Like that, and then you can have the shield. I think I think it's just too busy. I do like the shield on the back of it, though. Then you've also got the Hydra flag at the back as well, which yeah. I do like that. That looks good. That's a nice picture as well. You can see a lot of textures there and colors. It, yeah, that looks decent. Yeah. That looks very decent there. I like that's that. the guy. That's the guy who takes fantastic pictures. He posted a picture today at the Batman Samurai. That's a very good picture. Really that, picture. that captures, that captures yeah. a lot of good qualities and, and actual work that's gone on in, into the statue. His name which is, is what you, which, which, which you want to see uh, in pictures. Uh, this, this is, is cool. Uh, I just don't know what it is. Chandranala, I believe. This is from uh, Magic the Gathering. And um, again, I'm not a Magic the Gathering fan or a follower. Um, I The only thing I'm excited about is the you know, XM Studios have the Magic license and the Dungeons and Dragons license, and I'm looking forward to seeing some really cool monsters. That's what I'm looking forward to. Amen. Monsters, dragons. You know, those, I like that Prime One Tiger thing that Matey Boy got in. That was Magic. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's Magic. That's what I mean. It's them, some sort, them sort of, sort of monsters. I kind of dig it. It's it? like sort of Kung Fu Panda on steroids. It's not Luke, is it? No. Um, I oh, used to comment all, all our videos, didn't he? The guy who got that. God, what's his name? He's got a picture of him shooting, didn't he? You know what I'm talking no, about? No. He, he got it in. And it had a broken piece on it. Yeah, that's right. I remember his video. He did a video, wasn't it, for Darth Castle? Yeah. So basically, you've got the, um, the head with the hair, and you've got the flame hair like this. And uh, yeah, really cool. The flames have done really, really well. Of course, Cal, this is going up for pre-order very soon. Good good uh, flow to it. Good flow to that piece. Yeah, I, I yeah. quite like it. And then there's a picture from the other side with the, the colours. Again, this is that same guy who took that Captain America picture. He takes fantastic pictures. Really, really nice pictures. Um, yeah, great. I think she looks awesome. Again, I just don't know who she is. Uh, here you go. Boom, boom, uh, boom, bucks. The tiger from Prime 1 from Magic the Gathering is... Asiania gold main. Chandra's flames are painted or clear resin. I don't know. They look looks like um, painted to me. It might be good. translucent resin. Um, yeah, slight, I know, so it won't be clear. I know, XM don't use clear resin anymore. We, it's, it'll be we, translucent. We moved away from clear resin after having a lot of issues, so it might be translucent. Yeah. 
Yo, yo, what up? Yo, yo, motherfuckers. Yo, can we get some World of Warcraft to make sense? Again, I mean, uh, there's some great characters there, but Blizzard, I think, have wrapped up that license. Yeah, yeah. you're going to have a fight with that, you know? Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't know whether we'll be able to get out from Blizzard. I don't uh, think so. Then you've got the Doomsday. The funny thing about this is people complain about how small it was. And um, the thing is, is the piece looks great. Um, lots and lots of details on this. Um, there is still going to be the one six scale version. Don't worry about that if you're collecting one six line. Um, the one thing about this piece, again, massive, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, people were saying it looked really small, but the thing is, is the planet. I can't tell from pictures. Even. Well, it's perspective, isn't it? So, like, when you look at this one, yeah, like that. Now, I, see, the thing is, the reason why I shared this picture is I've fucking seen that Spider Man in person. Yeah, I had that in my hand. I know how big that Spider-Man is, and that's right next to that fucking doomsday. And that looks alarming, how fucking big that thing is. I still, feel, I still feel, though, from this picture that it's quite misleading because of the perspective, because if you look at right at the of end... Of course. Yeah. If you look right at the end, that's the Predator, and then the next one is Batman Sunny, um, and they look tiny. They look absolutely tiny. So Yeah, but, but they're... At, I mean, it, it, it's there's something that's like going that way. I understand. But mm. if you put both them tables together, I still think that Doomsday is going to be two and a half to three times the size of that Spider-Man. I think that Doomsday is on a, on, um, a base that was originally made for the um, um, Hulkbuster. So that's, yes. that's a big base. And then the one yes. in the Spider-Man is on You can see it's wider. Um, you can see it's wider. But yeah, he looks huge. He looks absolutely it's massive. Huge. That's a massive piece. I've got the measurements of that doomsday, and I don't think they're right. It's literally like fifty-five centimeters tall. There's no way it's fifty-five centimeters tall. No, that's an error. It doesn't look that looks like it's at least that looks closer to sixty-five seventy there. Sick mansion collectibles in the house. Yeah, he really makes me laugh. Let's go. Was he really? Let's go or oh, hell no? I was laughing. <laughs> That's one animated dude, man. I love that guy's energy, bro. All right, then. Uh, so these are close up pictures of it. A bit like that. So yeah, I think it looks quite cool. That that lazy Susan isn't the one I've got. That's a bigger one. That's a sixty. So that's a sixty. I quite like the fact that it's quite action post. I really ain't a fan of Prime ones. One third scale two, I think it's fucking horrible. Mm. I don't think it's, I, I think the two best at the moment that I've seen. And it's funny as well because I, I love Stuart Murray. Is it Stuart Murray? Yeah. He was sharing loads of pictures of his customers. They all look like fucking arse as well. They're horrible pieces. I was like looking, I was like, fucking, it looks like I've got shaving foam on it. All these spikes look like clouds. They're fucking horrible. I was just like, mm. You know, I was, like, the, I, felt so, um, I was like, I was so close to being like, you know, wow, they're bad. But, you know, it just shows you people like what they like. It's just like, fuck, for me, I'm like, Sideshow Maquette one looks fucking shit. And this actually looks pretty good too. But the best one, I don't like uh, them at all. Prime One's yeah. version, I think it's well dark. Mm. Like, really dark. It's almost black. They've I painted like it. The head, I like the head that um, uh, Wayne Luch made for, for his. He Did he make class, it? He made a classic yeah. head. Then. Oh no, no, sorry, he didn't. Did he? He he had it made. He painted it. Yeah, he painted it. So yeah, um, Doomsday is bigger than Gladiator Hulk. Uh, Doomsday looks bigger than Gladiator Hulk. I thought in the pictures, he, uh, Planet Hulk was bigger. Uh, new They're display very room. Close. This is TK Store Toy Kings. Uh, what up, champions? Love you guys. Channel. Take care, oh, thanks, man. man. God bless. You too. I hope that you continue to grow, man. But uh, I'm sub. I'm, I do watch you. Uh, I watch you. Your shit. He, he, you. Make, he, make, he makes me laugh, man. The guy's funny as shit. It's well funny. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking the statue is about 27 to 29 inches tall, comparing the size of the statues next to it. It looks up for sure because that. It, uh, it definitely does. It looks like it's. About, I think it's about 16 to 299. So, yeah. It looks like it's, yeah, at least another, like, yeah, 10, 10, 12 inches on it. Massive, fuck. It looks massive. But I like how sharp and aggressive it looks. Mm. I think that the um, I think that the maquette has that as well. Oh, yeah. Uh, then obviously we have the whole... It's probably mine, that fucking beast. That's your one. Yeah, we're sending yeah. it. Over. We're like uh, fucking, yeah. game for the next fucking three years. Yeah, it's like my Cyclops, I guess. That's, 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 that's why I'm just Cyclops. That's why I got, got fucking broke. 
Uh, and uh, then we've got the Planet Hulk. This is a, I suppose, and this is the ones in the uh, display. So yeah, I'm not so, sure about this, man. I'm just not sure. Ray Press sculpt. Um, some of the things I know that I've heard, like a lot of the complaints are people don't like the uh, kind of shield. So like they don't like the way that the uh, tentacle is on that sword. They want a clean sword. They think it's a bit too busy to have it. Can't you just remove it? I don't know. Personally, I don't that'd know. Be, that'd be easy enough to fucking remove it. It should should be something that maybe you can have magnetized to stick on the top of it. If um, it shield looks then, a little small, but it looks nice. It's, it's a nice that's shield. The other, that's the other comment as well. The shield looks too small. And then also the, the face looks a bit like the Grinch. That's what people are saying. No, I got no issues with the face and, and the heads at all. My only, my only complaint with this piece is that it's just the way it's contorted. I just think it's too contorted. There's something about his body is going one way and his legs are going another. It's it, it's something about it. I, I just I can't I can't get behind as much. Mm. It's got a lot of fantastic details on it. It's got a lot of fantastic textures, even though to me. For Aaron Ray Perez, this looks like it's been dumbed down quite significantly. Um, well, that's that's the thing which I, you know, I, I'm a huge fan of Aaron Ray Perez. Yes, uh, we are. I, I wouldn't recognise this as his. I wouldn't. Not know, as much. No. I like, uh, I, it's one of those things. Big, it's a big things, fucking uh, piece. That. It's one of those things. I just think that you oh. need to see in person. One of those things. I Definitely. Think, Enough justice. No, I've got, I've got, I've got no issue with the head. I'm not sure any armor, even that thing on the thing. I've no problem with any of that. The base, the colors. I've got no, even the shield being slightly small has its advantages because it, you can see a lot more of the sculpt. My only issue at the moment with this piece is just in photographs. It looks like he's twisting one way and his legs are going the other way, and it just looks a bit strange. Certainly with the the right leg position, it just <laughs> it looks a bit off. Looks like my mother in law. <laughs> yeah. I think Andy said there'll be a switch out uh, without the tentacles. I hope so. I, I, I think as well that great action. That, that, that tentacle, it looks a bit too busy, I think. And I, I, I really want to see this in person because these yeah. pictures, even though it's they're impossible. fantastic. With, even though they're fantastic, it's just you can't judge it. By. Dude, I had I had the diorama um, Alvin Ray Perez Hulk versus Wolverine. I took, Ed dude, I, sorry, that's what I'm talking about. Ed dude, is it him? He, he, yeah, he got the tiger. That's what uh, I'm talking about. Ah, yes. I yes, remember yes. his name. Fucking hell, good remember Ed dude. Yeah, I had that Wolverine versus Logan diorama, and I tried to take <laughs> fifty fucking pi pictures of the, the head, the portrait. And no matter how many I took, it looked terrible. And in person, it was fucking unbelievable that I sculpt, that head yeah. sculpt, because it was a merge of like Ruffalo and Lou Ferrigno. It was really fucking clever, the way it was done. From certain angles, it looked like Lou Ferrigno. From other angles, it looked a bit like Mark Ruffalo. Mm -hmm. it, and he did that intentionally, because um, I was like, I'm seeing it like from you I'm, I'm, yeah, it just can't do it. it with Aaron Ray Perez's stuff it's really hard. And I feel the same as with the Red Hulk. I'm seeing pictures of that in hand. And there's parts of in photos I'm liking, others I think it's horrible. I just yeah. don't know which one it is. And I know from having Aaron Ray Perez's pieces in person, I mean, not pieces like Goat God of War, um, but or the Deadpool, because that photographs pretty well. But from other pieces, I know how hard it is to capture his work. It's very difficult. Very, very, very difficult indeed. It's very hard to judge. Yeah. Unfortunately, what we have is this. This is all we have. That would have been my talking rubbish. What's going on? I think that's, that's everything. Oh, no, no, it can't be everything because of the con. We've uh, got a transformer still. Why would it move? God damn it. Rosie. That's the end. See you next uh, week. Uh, yeah, see you next week, everyone. Bye. <laughs> No, it's um, it kind of goes a bit like when it zooms in automatically and all that sort of stuff. Uh, there's all the detail there in the back. I think that's too small. I think them flaps and things are too small. I don't know. He's big. No, they look quite small. The flaps, the flaps on the in back of his bum. In proportion to the character, you mean? Yeah, I just thought they were bigger. Yeah. I thought they were bigger fingers. Um, Fucking, that's horrible. That reverse flash. I mean. 
again, the the lever is falling over. Extreme, but I think with the scale, that looks better. With the scale of it, it trying to get away with it. If this is cool, out, I'd be really worried about his leaning, but because it's one six guy, you can kind of get away with being more dynamic. Um, I'm not sure. I think it's too much, but even less, that's me. Yeah. So that's the piece there. Then you've got Nemesis Prime. So I'm looking up so, because I've got it on a big TV up there rather than watching on my screen. Uh, Nemesis Prime, this looks really cool, this piece. Yeah, Again, cool. I mean, it's, it's not. A lot of people are like, well, it's not prime, it's not red, it's not blue, it's not, you know, this, but the, I still think it looks pretty cool in black and it is a version of the character that's quite popular. So, um, you know, there's that. It's got, and also the like thing, the base. one of the things I have to mention. Is that uh, Cybertron, that base? No, it's uh, Unicron. That's that big fucking monster, isn't it? Yeah, so what it yeah. is is basically, the one thing I, had, I actually think is uh, quite impressive is the fact that... Uh, uh, Optimus Prime was released probably two, three years ago, and this is released, you know, a couple of months ago, and the price is the same. Yeah, I think, yeah. That, I think that's great. A lot of it's other companies wouldn't, wouldn't do that. Uh, I think that needs to be mentioned. Um, yeah, fair play, fair play. Well done. Yeah, it looks really nice. Uh, Does it? Looks cool. it looks very nice. We got the truck there. Uh, yeah, very nice. If you missed out on Optimus Prime, um, you know, jump on this. I would. There he is next to Soundwave. Again, this is perspective. There's, the scale of them isn't, isn't quite like this. Um, I love this Soundwave. I think the Soundwave is really cool. I think this person's fucked with saturation, though. Yeah, it definitely is messing with the colours on these but, pictures. Um, I really I like it. Though. I saw some pictures of this Soundwave that looked fucking dull in terms of its paint. Soundwave? Vib- yeah, it did look as vibrant as these colours. Mm. So I he's think. he's definitely one hundred percent fucked with saturation on this too much. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I can to... I can see every shade of blue in that paint. Yeah. And on the the color on the paint, maybe under the lights, this is what it will look like. But um, this yeah. has definitely been fucked with. Yeah. This well, is what it needs that. to look like. This is what it needs to look like. I watched uh, I watched Bumblebee again about three days ago, and um, still the part where. Um, Soundwave comes up and just literally says like uh, Ravage Eject he's just like Ravage Eject and when Ravage comes he's, out that's the fucking coolest part of the movie Call sex weed movie. didn't you yeah, well, sex oh weed. man I, I was like I, I was literally like to, to Natalia like oh man that was awesome wasn't it just like yeah yeah, yeah. but he's not got the attachment <laughs> this is what it's about it's about the nostalgic attachment that you have I what makes watch, it special um, again watching uh, Bumblebee the other day I think it's one of the I've better. I've got it on my list on Netflix to watch, so I have to sit one, and watch it. It's one of the better Transformer movies for sure, hundred percent. I have to check it out. It's a bit like Jenny might like it because it's a bit more like female orientated. It's a bit more like a uh, girly kind of thing in, in parts. It's a bit more yeah. like trying to appeal to that side, but the fight scenes are much better. Like um, Bumblebee, actually, like. He's quite handy. You know, he's quite a good fighter. Yeah, but he Doesn't always is, work. isn't he? He's pretty good all the time. I think he's he? quite nifty, yeah. yeah. Um, again, go through these. Then you've got like the ejecting tape. Uh, I think that's Ray Bat. I can't remember. It's clever, uh, that fucking uh, dog. Yeah, Ron Ball. You've got um, uh, Ravage. You got, oh, yeah, it's so cool. Laser Beak. Love it. Absolutely love it. You know. Uh, first five minutes of Ed Dude said, first five minutes of Bumblebee is absolutely madness. Yeah, but later on as well, they go back to the story of that first five minutes and that part when Soundwave comes out. Oh, man. Awesome. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, you got uh, Rumble there as well. Was is that the little guy? Is that what he's called? Yeah. He's called Rumble, yeah. Yeah. Ravage. What's Ravage? The, Ravage the is the Panther. Yeah. What's the bird called? Uh, laser beak. Oh, cool. sweet. Then all there's, another, there's another little guy called Frenzy, and then the one ejected is called Raybat, I think. Jesus Christ. Impressive that you know all of that. <laughs> he, he was my favourite because of the fact that's all the, the XM stuff now, so that's good. Oh, um, 